Hey, Coach John Davis here. So we all know tomorrow's Thanksgiving, right? And as a business owner, this gets to be a busy time of year. You've got the Thanksgiving holiday, you've got the Christmas holiday, you've got New Year's, and you're trying to get everything crammed into just a few weeks of work, right? So when I'm meeting with business owners, they're like, yeah, I really want to change my business. Can we wait till January? Absolutely. I totally get it. But I wanted to understand, well, what is the cost of that delay mean for the business owners? So I created a couple of different scenarios. Okay, so I, I created three businesses. One of them's 300,000, one of them's 500,000, and one of them's $1.2 million. And based upon the size of those businesses and what their growth could be, smaller business is probably gonna grow a little bigger percentage, smaller dollars. Bigger business, maybe it's a little harder to, to have a bigger growth percentage. You can argue the other side if you want, but I just did different growth rates, 12%, 10%, and 8%, All right? So what that means, those businesses at the end of 2024 are either gonna be 336, 550, or 1.3 million. There's a little bit of rounding in there. And I said, okay, what if we delayed our improvements by one month, two months, and three months? What's gonna be the impact to those businesses? Either the, del the total revenue impact or how much they're gonna have to recoup by being stronger in later parts of the year. So they have fewer months to make more money to reach their goal. So this is what the numbers show. If you do a one month delay on a $300,000 business, going for 12% growth, you're basically foregoing about $10,000 per month. So month one is 10,000, actually it's 9,000. Month two is 18,000. Month three, 26,000. What about the $500,000 business growing by 10%? One month, it's cost you 8,000. Two months, 15,000. Three months, 22,000. And then the last one, a $1.2 million business, growing at 1%. If you wait one month, it's about $6,000 per month. Um, actually, it's compounding. So it's $6,000 if you wait one month, 23 for two months, and 37 for the third month. So I totally understand the reason to delay. You've got the holidays, you've got a lot going on. But think about what that's gonna mean for your goals for next year. Depending upon the size of your business and the growth rate, it could be 20, 30, 50, 60,000, maybe even $100,000 you're going to forego by waiting that one month. Hope that makes sense. If you want to understand the math for your business, give me a call. Remember, now is always a good time to get into action.